Hey, what is up you guys? How are you? I'm back. Apologies if you hear some tip tapping. Paul over there playing his video game. Today, we're gonna review this uh, Millennials Cosmetics. So I actually found this company. My sister commented on them on Facebook. They're based out of Savannah, Georgia, which is where she is. So that's probably why it popped up on her Facebook. Um, but yeah, so I looked into them and I couldn't really find that much information about them. Um, but we're going to take a quick look at their website. And then I also messaged the company for a little bit more info. So then we're going to get to that. Um, but so first on their website, they have like the home screen, yada, yada, yada. The thing that caught everyone's eyes um, was this neon eyes, which is the glow in the dark eyeshadow palette. Um, so it says it's normally 45, but it's on sale for 25. Um, it says this palette is filled with super pigmented neon colors for best results, exposed to light, apply and cut off the lights, get into these 24 flavors. So we, from that, um, because there aren't actually any instructions on the packaging, um, I guess we're gonna follow those instructions and expose them to light and then put them on and then make it dark. See if they glow. Um, but here is the picture. Um, it doesn't really look like the look like these are glowing a lot, but like then these are super sparkly. So I don't know. But um, yeah. They also have some other products. They have this black diamond liquid lip. It says shine bright like a diamond. Liquid diamonds on top enhances liquid matte to another level. Surprisingly sophisticated. Wear alone on bare lips for full watt glam. Wear on cheeks or collarbone. Not limited to lips with stay put formula. So there's that. They have it in three different colors. Rose gold, cash, and swish. Um, they also have another... Thing. So let's go to the vinyl lip, vinyl lip lacquer. It says high impact pigments, more coverage and shine than lip gloss. Long wear lip hybrid formula, similar to liquid lipstick with insane high watt shine, fade proof and infused with maximum staining pigments. Non drying stay put finish. Used with lip liner to prevent feathering. Um, so I guess this is just shiny, and again it's supposed to be um, a stay put formula had wow they have six colors they have stunning metal meow metal madonna metal bff punchy and rosy but then they also have the liquid velvet lipstick it says velvet creamy liquid lipstick lightweight and long wear highly pigmented dries to matte will not feather one coat gets the job done so that's just like a pretty basic liquid lip um and again, they have three colors, Anarchy, Beloved, and Betty Boo. So that is all they have on their website. Um, if you scroll down, you can see they have like their social media, a uh, hashtag to get featured. Uh, but they don't really have like an about us section, not really anything about the company, which is really what kind of struck me as odd in the first place. So when I couldn't find any information on their website, I went to their social media, specifically their Instagram. And on their Instagram, it did state in the bio, well, it does not now, but when I did, it did say they were based in Savannah, Georgia. I believe it might also say that on their Facebook. But I ended up messaging the company and asking for a little bit more info. They offered to send me a palette at a discounted rate, uh, which was really cool. So we did that and then I was like, so could you tell me more about the company? There isn't much information on y'all. Who runs it? How'd you get started? Are you vegan? Cruelty free? Um, and here they said, Millennials Cosmetics is a new makeup line representing the Millennials generation. We specialize in high quality products with an amazing color selection. We pride ourselves in using only the very highest standards of pigments and ingredients. Cruelty and vegan free. We want help raise awareness to self love. Not only do we provide a Stella product, but it also caters to the skin and smells amazing. Due to COVID-19, we only ship within the U.S. And it says the CEO is uh, on Andrea Lonan. Lonan. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say that name. 
Um, but I'm gonna post all of these messages up here. Said Millennials is a new small business. Their products are made in the USA. They're the first makeup cosmetic line from Savannah and they had been in business for one month and that was at July 14th. So now I guess it'd be like two months. They also ended up, it says that they sent me the diamond liquid lip gloss in the shade Cash. So this is why I was confused about the box because it says liquid lip in the shade Rogue, but then you open it and it's the diamond. I don't know. I'll look at the ingredients list because they did say that they pride themselves in their high quality ingredients. So as you know from ingredients list, the first item is always the most plentiful ingredient in the product. Um, so our first ingredient is talc. Um, talc is kind of a controversial ingredient because uh, some say it's linked to cancer and things like that, but it's also like approved to be in makeup. So whether or whether you not support that, know that that's the first ingredient. Uh, next you have mica. That's pretty standard in makeup. Uh, the next one is aluminum powder. I don't, I don't know. Um, I did end up like Googling it. And I mean, it said that it was approved in cosmetics. So is it safe? Is it approved? You know, what's the balance there? Um, but next then you've got like polyethylene, uh, terephthalate. <laughs> you got a lot of ingredients here. I'll try to post them all if I can see if you can read that. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty basic beeswax. Um, I'm pretty sure beeswax isn't vegan. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a vegan, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, but anyway, moving on, let's go ahead and take it out of the sleeve. Um, it's the exact same on the palette. Literally, it's exact, exact. So, yes. Open it up. We've got our little thing. Throw that out. Um, and here is the palette. Now, first of all, it is very, very colorful, very eye catching, very sparkly. Um, but now the eyeshadows, like, there's a few mattes, but then, like, there's these, like, glittery ones, and they look like gel. Like, if you remember in, like, the 90s, they had, like, that gel creamy sparkly eyeshadow stuff and it was goopy and it was gross and it was terrible um but i don't know it could be interesting they've got like little star glitters in them like from the old nail polishes with the star i think it's really retro and cool and really unique but the question is does it glow in the dark that is what we are here for. So first, I guess we need to charge it. So I'm gonna let it sit in some light for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back and we'll put it on our face. Also, I'm gonna put on an eye primer. I'm gonna use the Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. I've actually fallen in love with this. Like for real, this is the best pri eye primer I have used to date. Like, love it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back. So, see ya. Charge this one, uh, one under, like, my studio lighting and then also I went over it with this little black light flashlight. Um, I didn't really notice any sort of thing, but of course the lights are on, so, yep. So now we're gonna put them on. Um, I'm definitely feeling a really bright, bright look with this, so, hmm. I don't know what I should do for the gel ones because do I like use my finger? Do I use a brush? Like I feel like that might gunk up a brush. We might try it with like a crappy brush just to see. Maybe we'll do brush on one eye and finger on the other or something. Okay. Yeah. I totally forgot to do that during the break. I was busy holding the palette. Um, but yeah. So, let me go ahead and move some things around so I can get this mirror up here. This fluffy brush, it's a Morphe E27, 
And I'm going to dip into this, like, neon yellow up here. I'm feeling it. I'm going to put that, like, up here next to my brow. Actually, I can also just use this mirror in the palette. Ha 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 ha. It's so convenient. Okay. Yeah, that looks really nice. I mean, it's definitely, definitely pigmented, going on pretty smooth. Um, I do kind of need to build up the intensity, though, to get the, the impact that I want. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that looks pretty good. Um, next, I'm going to dip into this orange right next to it up here, and I'm going to use the same brush and just go kind of more in the crease. Blend that in. It's definitely not going on like the color I thought it would. Like, do y'all see that? It's kind of like mustardy yellow. I'm going to try putting on with my finger on the other eye. Ooh, it feels kind of chalky. Okay, yeah, it's not blending out as much, but it's definitely getting more on there. A little more intense. Okay. I'm gonna go and blend that out. Yeah, I mean... I feel like I might have gotten a little bit more intensely on this eye by packing it on with my finger, but it didn't come out as blended. Maybe let me try a different brush. Here, I'm going to try this kind of like packing brush, see if it'll just... No. No, no. Okay. So, like, it's just really chalky, and even with the primer, it's just kind of not getting the full effect that I would like. Um, but, I mean, it's still pretty. Alright, let's keep going. Um, I'm gonna take uh, this. Oh my god, what does that say? M Miss Glam Precise Eye E25. I don't know. Uh, and I'm going to dip into this pink that's next to the orange. And I'm going to put that out here. Once again, it's just, it's kind of just fading away in the brush. Let me try it with my finger over here. See? That definitely makes a much bigger difference. Yeah, you can definitely tell that when I put it on with my finger, I got much better pigment. Uh, a lot more went on. So I did, I would definitely probably recommend your finger. Um, next, ooh, I kind of want to, I don't know. There's so many colors, I want to try them all. Um, okay, I'm going to take this kind of like peach, neon peach, I guess. Same brush. And I'm going to blend that into the center here. Again, the brush is just kind of chalking it out. I'm going to go in with my finger on the other eye. Yeah. Way better. You can see there, it definitely shows up a lot more than on this eye. So... 
Just saying. Um, I'm gonna try and pack a little bit more. That's just like so disappointing that like it's just getting eat up somehow with the brush. Like it's, and then like even when you're brushing it, it's like taking some of the other colors off. Like, I don't understand. It's just not sticking, sticking real well. Um, all right, I kinda wanna keep going. All right, I wanna go into this green. I kinda wanted to mess over with this purple and blue. We might come back to them later, but I wanna drop into this green with the exact same brush. I'm gonna do it here, like on the inside of my eye. Okay, again, with the brush, you get more of, like, a, not pastel, but, like, just, like, chalky, sort of. Um, again, I'm going to take my finger and do it on the other eye. Yeah, like, if you cannot see that difference, like, OMG. Yeah, you can see with the eye where I did it with my finger, it's much darker, very more neon and bold. Um, all right, so I guess now we need to kind of mess with these gels for our center lid. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit more eye primer right there, um, just to give it a little bit more of a chance. Okay, so I've got that primed and ready. Um, I'm actually going to start with my finger just to kind of feel the formula. Um, and I think I'm going to go in with... I don't know, do I want to do one of like the glitters or one of the stars? How about we do a different one on each eye? So how about on this eye we'll do the stars and on the other eye we'll do the glitter. So on this eye, I'm going to do this um, blue star glitter, this one here. So, okay. So it feels kind of wet and sandy, like from all the glitter, like just wet glitter. Um, I didn't pick up any of the stars on my finger, which is kind of sad. Okay, putting it on is a little bit messy, not gonna lie. Oh, that did not do good. Alright, let's try that again. Let's go in for another dip. Again, it's kind of hard to control. It doesn't stick together very well. I did get some stars on this one. Maybe I should have, like, used a glitter primer. But it didn't say to. Okay, again, there's still like a ton on my finger that's just not coming off on my eye. I don't know what's up with that. But, I mean, there you can see it. It just kind of looks kind of like wet and glittery. And it's kind of messy, so I'm probably going to go back in and do like some damage control. Um, let me wipe this off. I don't know if this is supposed to like dry down because I feel like it would do a lot of transferring throughout the day and probably just rub off. Um, it's the worst thing about like glitters like this is you just end up with glitter like all over your face at some point. Um, okay, I mean, it's all right. Um, it didn't really come off like I thought it would. Um, and now on this aisle, we're just gonna try one of the normal glitters without the star. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this kind of like purple disco glam sort of color up here. Um, I am gonna use my finger. I just, the way these feel, I just would hate to dip a brush in this. Like, it would just hurt my soul. Oh. 
Okay, this one went on a lot better. There's still a lot on my finger. Um, definitely with this one, less is more. Oh my god. I've just got eyeshadow all over my hands. Alright, um, I think that one is actually really pretty. It did a lot better coverage. Um, let's do a couple of swatches of the star ones just to see, like, if maybe just that one wasn't as great. Okay, so I've swatched a few of them, and you can see, like, they definitely do have pigment to them, but they're just kind of, like, splotchy and grainy, and they wipe off very easily. Um, the glitter glitters definitely are better than the star glitters, I feel like. Um, and they are, like, super pretty. They just, like, I feel like the application could be better. Like, oh god, now I've just got glitter all over the back of my hand. It's fine, though. Overall, the mattes are pretty nice. Definitely apply them with a finger. Um, brushes aren't too good. The glitters are a little iffy. The formula could be a little bit better, especially in the star glitters. Um, but here you can see, I guess we need to find out if they glow in the dark. So let's turn all of the lights off and see, see if anything happens. Are they glowing? Is anything happening? I don't see no glowing here. Where's my, uh, black light? Definitely like not glowing. They're not. But I mean, let me see if I can... I mean, okay, they are black light reactive. Like, I'm trying to, oh my God, I'm trying to get to where y'all can see. Cause like, the eye where I put it on with my finger is definitely glowing. Um, <laughs> oh my God, do y'all see all the fallout glitter? Oh my God, look at this side of my face. Can y'all see that? There's all the fallout glitter all throughout here is showing up in the black light like that is nuts okay so it's definitely black light reactive um the stars are holding their glow um but other than that the pigments don't really here i'll just see if i can charge them at all okay yeah the the colors themselves don't really seem to be glowing by themselves but the stars in the star glitter are um so i mean yeah let me see about this one that is still insane look at all that fallout like like that's nuts <sighs> did you like there's a little bit over here like oh my god i'm gonna start just Look at all of it in my hair. Oh my god, there's so much in my hair. What is happening? Oh my god, black lights are too cool. I have to stop. Yeah, again, even the glitter glitter isn't doesn't hold a charge. I mean, but they are black light reactive. So I mean, if you were like going to like I don't know, like a rave, it'd be cool. But otherwise, I don't really think it's going to make a difference. All right turn the light back on so what's funny is that like I can't visibly see any fallout on my face and like I even took my powder brush and like tried to brush it off but overall like with the black light it showed so much still on my skin and like in my hair that I like I can't even see like that is nuts um, so if you want to, like, find out how much makeup's on your face with this, you co totally can. Um, but so I wouldn't call it glow-in-the-dark. It's definitely just UV reactive, uh, black light reactive. Uh, so, I mean, it's cool. I, I definitely think it's fun. Definitely recommend putting it on with your fingers so it shows up a little better. The star glitters aren't really my favorite. Um, the glitter glitters are really pretty. Uh, probably don't use take a brush to it, except maybe just to do a little bit of blending. It did not like, did not like a <laughs> brush. Um, but I guess now we only have one more thing to try, which is this diamond lip. So let's just smack that on. Okay, there's the, uh, applicator. 
just kind of uh, basic. Okay, first impression, it's very wet. Real wet. Yeah. Um, closing that up, let it, I'm gonna let it dry for a little minute. No fragrance, which is good. We don't like fragrance. No chemically smell, just no smell at all. Okay, so it seems to have dried down. Um, it is very sheer. Uh, definitely would probably want to use it as a lip topper. Um, unless it was just kind of like a basic casual day. It is still really pretty. It's got a real nice shine to it. Almost like it's glittery but also semi-metallic. I mean, I like it actually. Um, it doesn't feel drying. It just kind of feels like a film almost, I guess. Okay, let's see if it transfers. Hey, no transferring. Literally, there's no glitter, nothing on my hand. Like, that is impressive. Like, okay. So, I mean, I'm kind of digging that. I would actually really love to have some more of these. I'd actually now like to try their other lip formulas and see if they're as stay put as this. Because... That dried down in like 30 seconds and like nothing. That is insane. And it's not like drying or anything. Like I said, it just kind of, just kind of feels like a topper. You know, it's kind of nice. I like it. It's, it'd be really cute just to like go to the grocery store. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go do the rest of my eyes and we'll be back for final reviews. All right. So final reviews, the palette, um, the mattes are awesome. Uh, I definitely would would not call this a glow-in-the-dark palette. It's definitely just black light reactive. Um, it does say cruelty-free on the back, so I do like that it is cruelty-free. I respect that. Um, the glitters, I could give or take them. Like, they're okay. The glitter glitters are okay, but like the star glitters are, they're all just kind of like patchy and like while I was putting my eyeliner on, one of the star glitters tried to enter my eyeball and like, so be careful about that. Um, it's a really cool concept. I think it just needs a little bit more work. Just, I think the glitter formula just needs a little bit more like consistency to keep together and have a more even um, application. But the mattes are great. I will definitely use this palette. It's definitely really fun. I think the colors are really fun. I love fun looks. Um, the diamond lip thing. So this, um, the longer it is on my lips, I feel like the more dry it gets maybe. So maybe I'd like want to use a balm or something before applying this. But it's not overly drying like... Um, like a, like a matte liquid lipstick sometimes. They like crack your lips open. It's not doing that. It's just kind of dry underneath that film. But overall, like, I really love this formula. I mean, it's so, like, stay put. Like, I'm not gonna smear it off. Like, it's just incredible. I cannot say any more good things about this lip formula. Um, and I feel like this look is kind of cute. Not this eye. It's not as bright. <laughs> I don't feel like but this eye definitely. So other than just like use your fingers and like beware the stars, I think it's pretty okay. Just needs a little bit more work, but for a startup company um, out of Savannah, Georgia, I think it's actually pretty okay. So head on over to Millennials Cosmetics. I'll link them down below. Um, definitely try some of this. This is good. Um, I'll probably end up getting me some more. If you liked this video, be sure to like and leave a comment below. If you liked me, be sure to subscribe for more of my content. I try to post every Sunday, but if things happen in life, it'll be up no later than Tuesday. 
Comment down below if you have any other cosmetics companies or whatnot you would like me to review. Also be sure to follow me on Twitch at CountryCat186. I'll link it down below along with my Instagram, which is also CountryCat186. Um, also be sure to head on over to Twitch and hit that donate tab so I can bring more reviews to you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe, having fun, having a good summer. I know school is approaching. I don't know if y'all are like going to school or doing the online thing, but either way, be safe, have fun, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I just kind of want to give you an update on how the makeup has worn throughout the day. It's been a few hours now, and as you can see, the glitter definitely rubbed off and some of like the mattes rubbed off as well, even with using an eye primer. So I don't know if maybe just a different eye primer would work better, maybe a glitter primer because it's a bit more sticky, but I just wanted to let y'all know about how it was wearing throughout the day. I'm kind of sad that it's rubbing off because it is so pretty. Like honestly, I really love like the neon look. Um, but so maybe I'll just try a different eye primer, but I just wanted y'all to see this.